Welcome to Raven Sofa. Please subscribe to my channel, also hit the notification bell, like this video, and share. Welcome to another edition of Conversation. Conversation is when we talk about things that's bothering us or things that happen in our life. Today's conversation is about mental illness. Now, we live in a world where people are mentally ill, and I want to share this story about my life and living and what happened to me yesterday. I created this channel for people who are different. Transgender is murdered. To support you. There's a PayPal on top. People murdered. Thing. There are a lot of times people can't send in the truth, but you find one that does support them. Make Allies. sure they do not fall within a, a smart community top. as not being in existence. And you know Music. that there are hard to find people that create a channel that cater to people who are different and stand in the truth. Vision and the man. allies sit back and say, well, I have no problem with other people. PayPal. Let me just stand in here to learn to support and learn. those no judgment who support so, you. I love you. Stand in okay, the truth. Let me give you Overview mental illness, also called mental health disorder, refers to a wide range of mental health condition disorders that affect the mood, thinking, and behavior. Example of mental illness includes depression, anxiety disorder, schizophrenia, eating disorders, and addictive behavior. Symptoms, depression's mood. So get your coffee and let's have a conversation on what happened to me as of yesterday. Put on some lipstick. Two kinds. This is like the lighter one. This is the dark one. Good morning and welcome to Conversation. This is going to be a real dual sleep only because <sighs> a lot happened yesterday. Now I'm the kind of person that don't really like attention which you might find hard to believe but I don't so I kind of stay low key to myself because I know all attention is not good attention let's get our coffee this is gonna be a long talk so all attention is not good attention and stuff so basically what I do is I say to myself, which you already kind of know, that's why you've seen tons of videos and there's not a band man in my videos and stuff yet. Okay, the coffee's ready. Let me get my coffee. Comment below and let you feel about these videos uh, and stuff, especially the nice conversation. And like and share. Up. Do you want me to continue doing the conversations? Let me know. Comment below. I'll be looking for your answers. Are you having your coffee? A coffee or tea or juice or water? Okay. So... I always pray because I want to find out answers and some people may may think I'm always overthinking due to the fact I'm a Gemini so we kind of like make things to make sense and a lot of times things don't make sense so we kind of pray on well we, well I'll say I'm in like a sleep and when I sleep myself so I, I pray because I ask God you know how did my sisters get murdered how do women get murdered do people know what they was because let's be honest a lot of girls that are too spirit don't look trans. They don't look too spirit at all. They look like a natural born female. And to me, that's the purpose of being two spirit woman is to be a female, it's not to be no transgender. But I'll go go into that in this video. That is such a long story. And the thing is, okay, here we go. Just bear with me a little bit here because sometimes doing these stories, y'all know I'm, I'm very much upset about how my little sister's being murdered. You know how I am about them. And um, I get upset because I do what they do. You do what they do. And we can't quite figure out what is it that's going on. And in the back of my mind, we like, well, what is she kind of, did she wear something? Did she say something? Did she know him? You know, so it's like, it's a puzzling thing because we don't know. We want to defend them, but we don't know. But only we, we do defend them. Thank the, thanks to y'all. I love you guys for basically being the soldiers. My sisters have been sounds and the flowers has been plucked. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So yesterday was going to do some work in the building, which means that I had to leave the building because I had to do a lot of stuff, a lot of fumes and stuff that was going to be circulating around the building. It was too strong. So basically what they do is go to individual apartments, ask them to go ahead on out. This way they do the fumigation, the, the walls, the speckle, the da 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 old building stuff, you know, falling apart, got to make it stay together, you know, get that rent money. So the thing is, I go outside and stuff. I talk to my landlord and stuff. We have a conversation and I go outside. I have this hand on. 
Guy tells me, I like your hair. Thank you. I like your outfit. Thank you. I like your sneakers. Thank you. In the back of my mind, I'm like, okay, it's a lot much. And I think if I knew they knew, I'd be like, oh my God, you know, I would, I would perceive it differently. And the, and the thing about it is that they don't be knowing. I know people like, oh girl, if anybody tell you they don't know what you are, they're liars. I get it, because that's what you do. I get it. But I have, to look, I have to look a certain type of way about that statement, because I feel like those are the type of ones that got the girls killed. Because the girls are like, I don't have to tell them everybody it said that everybody knows who I am. So I have to tell nobody. No and behold, we get some home and then kill them. I'm just speculating. So, okay, fine. I go on out, go to the bus stop. I'm at the bus stop and stuff, I'm waiting. Now, I'm, you know, I'm always on point, ready, mentally, in my mind. Got my earphones on, which is a no-no, but we're going to talk about that after the fact. So, I'm at the bus stop. The concept guy comes out the store. He looks at me. How long have you been waiting for the bus? I said a few minutes. Well, when is the bus coming? Remind you. Second man just got outside. How long have you been waiting for the bus? I don't know neither one of these men. I've never seen it before in my life. But they're having a conversation, which is fine. At one point, I was the kind of person that loved to talk to people, but now I don't. And I think it's due to the fact that all these videos I've done of the girls being murdered. I just can't fathom how these murders keep taking place because it's not making sense to me. Okay. Now, I'm not thinking about the murders and stuff. I must always leave your people around me, even the ones trying to have a conversation with me to try to spook me. You know what I mean? So, I have trust issues, which you already know I do. So, I was like, but there's a bus coming out. Oh, okay. Thank God. I go get on the bus. I'm like, okay, put my money on the bus. Get on the bus. Walk to the back of the bus. Sit down. So in order to get on the bus, to make sure you have to have your mask on and stuff, I went all the way and I sat all the way in the back of the bus, which I was kind of shocked. Somebody had a boombox playing. Now, the guy sitting next to me has so much music blast. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm shocked y'all even have boomboxes in 2020 and you blast on the bus. But you know what? That's neither here or there. That's none of my business either. I'm here with me. So the guy gets on the bus. He comes right here next to me. Okay, due to the fact of copyright reasons and stuff, I have to make sure that, um, it's not playing here for music and stuff, but I'm sitting in the back of the bus and stuff, and the guy's right there, and, you know, the thing is, like, I got the guy playing the music and everything on the side of me, and the thing about it is, I'm sitting on the bus and everything, and I'm in the back, and it's, like, blasting, I mean, when I say the music is blasting, it is blasting, and I'm like, okay, this is definitely definitely crazy but I'm still managing to hold on not thinking of anything bad gonna come from this it's just a bus ride and it is what it is you go to my channel Raven over you can see the whole video yourself in its entirety okay so I'm like he's like still trying to call a conversation I'm ignoring him I got my earphones in my ear which is not really playing because I can hear it. I turned it off so because I got next to me at the boombox on blast so I didn't even need to be trying to even play my music so anyway I'm influencing so he said he's looking at me looking at me and he stopped looking okay all right keep going on bus stop comes I'm about to get off the bus he about to get the bus the same next up the same step of getting off he get off so I decided I was gonna wait and go down a little further so, I stay on the bus, go a little further, and then walk it back. Okay, man. I walk back. Everybody stares at me. I understand because I'm tall. I get it. I don't... Those things don't bother me. People are going to look at you. It is what it is. So, I was like, let me go get some couple of things since I'm down here. And, you know, get some girly stuff, some spray for this wig and stuff. And, you know, to keep it conditioning, you know, extra stuff. And, um... So I get down and stuff, and I'm walking and stuff, going to the beauty spa places, and so this guy, I noticed walking behind me. Now, he's a little mentally ill. Now, by him being mentally ill, kids know what that means, he's a little cray-cray. I'm just saying. So he looks at me, and I see him, you know, I'm walking. So he goes, wow, you got a big ass. 
So I'm like, okay, here we go. You got a big ass. So I'm, I'm keep walking and stuff, big, tall, black guy. You got a big ass. So I'm like, okay, so I turn the corner. I'm like, I'm getting away from him. I turn the corner and I'm walking down the street. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm playing my music in my ear, ignoring him. You know, he got your music on. And people looking at me and stuff, paying them on. And I'm walking and walking. Then all of a sudden, at the clip of sky, he steps on my sneaker, the one who said the big ass. All this time, by me having earphones in my ears, something I want y'all to make sure, y'all hear me clearly. By me having earphones in my ear, blasting my music to drown him out, he was right here on me. I didn't feel him. I didn't feel his presence. I'm a spiritual person. I felt nothing. I felt nothing. And he was so much on me, he stepped on my sneakers. I took the bread off. So I'm like, what are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So now I'm thinking to myself, okay, now, your earphones come out now. I don't. So now I'm walking down a little further. And I'm like, okay. Keep walking out. Look, I don't want to be down here in the first place. So I'm walking still, I'm walking downtown. Get to the, almost to the corner. Got across me. Excuse me. Yes. I'm new around here. Can you show me around? I kept walking. I put my earphones back in. I kept walking. He looked at me. Because he was like, whatever. So I kept on walking. Listen. I went on down to Penn Station. Which I showed, you know, I went down to Penn Station and I ended up going through there. The the downtown Penn Station. They don't have the bitches stuff because I wasn't gonna sit in the bitches and wait until they finish. So you have to wait for four hours and come back up. And you already hit, I already hit everything I could hide in my house because I didn't want nobody to sell my house without me. You know. So I go down to Penn Station. Everyone stares at me, of course. Once again, oh, this camera's heavy. So I go down to Penn Station, everything, and I walk through the door. They got fences up, so you can't sit on the benches. Okay, fine. So walk over there, go down, sit on the stairs and stuff, and I'm waiting for my bus to come. But I'm like, okay, I got a couple of hours because I it it still got hours to go. They got an hour or something to go. So I have like an hour to go. So I'm sitting on the steps. Everybody walk. Hello, how you doing? Hello, you. Like I told y'all before, if you've been following the channel, I'm used to people walking up to me. I'm used to people making everything where I'm at. They come right. Well, I get it. I'm used to it. I don't like it, but it's happened so much that I've become immune to it. I learned to accept it. This is how it is. If it's little kids, they're going to come sit right here. If it's grown adults, they're going to they're gonna come to me. I get it. I don't like it, but I get it. If I'm standing in line, everyone's going to cross right in front of me. I get it. I don't like it, but I get it. So I'm sitting, I'm sitting there waiting and stuff, I'm sitting on the steps and everything, and as I'm sitting there, and so I'm sitting there and everything, and I'm waiting and waiting for my bus to come. So, watch one bus go by, another bus go by, people got their masks on, everyone is afraid. I'm sitting here looking at saying to myself, is this real life? Is this the kind of world we live in? We walk around with masks on. This is like some astronaut stuff. This is really crazy. Or something like that. So, I'm up there and stuff, and I'm waiting to wait for the bus. I walked out because I was going to go sit in the bitches. Found a damn close that off. Couldn't go there either. So, I'm saying to myself, wow. This is like really, this is like really, really crazy stuff going on. This is almost like the end of the world type of stuff in my mind, I'm thinking. So, 
I, the bus came. I get up, go stand at the bus stop. I'm waiting. As I'm waiting and everything. Okay. But my motive to this story to let you know. One thing the guys have always told me, even though I was working, is that Raven, stop wearing them earphones. You got to stop. I'll be calling you. You don't hear nothing. And the reason why, that's why I got in my ear, because I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear the conversation. I don't want to be bothered. I want to drown people out. And it's a constant thing that i constantly been told. Now, I remind you, that man behind me could have took a knife and stuck it in me. He could have slipped my throat. I would have never known it was him. I never felt it coming. I never would have known this man could have done it to me. I wasn't even thinking of nothing like that. It was far from my mind. My mind is all across the all across the board of so many other things that's running through my mind. I didn't think about a man following me. I didn't think he was right there on me. He was so much on me, he stepped on me. So how close could you be on me that you stepped on me that unless you was right up on me? So he was right here. He could have took out something and just sliced my throat. I would have never known it was him. I would have never seen it coming. I would have never known anything. All I would have known is I'd have been dead. Well, I would, guess I wouldn't have known it, but I'd have been dead. Then the paper would have read, I could just imagine, I tricked somebody. I tricked a poor innocent man walking down the street and he got upset and he killed me. Then the world would have said, you know what, you got exactly what you deserve. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, how many of my sisters didn't even know that dude? was going to do that. Well, I was sitting there know. But even was so unprepared, I was not prepared for that. I'm prepared now. Because life lessons always teach you. And one thing you need to not do is let life to teach, teach you something. And you sit back and, okay, that just happened that day. I'm going to skip it. No, when you when, when you teach Raven, Raven lessons, I always tell anybody, a little kid, two years old, could teach you something that you've been in here for a hundred years. And a little two-year-old kid can come in and teach you something about it. Listen, I was like, you know, and it's weird because I got so much attention, it kind of just threw me off. And all I wanted to do was go from point A to point B to point C, minding my business. But my message to you is make sure if you wear earphones, if you like me that like to drown people out, keep one of them out your ear. Play your music, but keep one out or don't play it at all. When you're around a bunch of people. Until you're safe. By the grace of God walking with me. And if that man never stepped on my foot. Stepped in the back of my heel. I would have never known he was behind me. He's a big black man. A little taller than me. He was right on me. I never felt nothing. I didn't feel anything. The music was drowning me. And I should have been turning around. I wasn't thinking about stuff like that. I was not thinking to turn around. To make sure he walked away. I wasn't thinking about that. I had too many things on my mind. Too many things running through my mind. To be thinking about a man is right here on me. But I tell you one thing. I'm thinking about it now. So now when I go outside. One, one of my earphones will not be in my ear at all. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to listen to life lessons. When the universe shows you different things and God sends you a warning, take heed to it. Even at the point you like, I'm not wearing them at all. That's even better. The reason why I wear it because I don't want to be, I don't, I, it's my excuse for not saying nothing back. So I can put them in my ears and just won't turn them on. But I don't be constantly turning around. And I think the ones like me who have so much on our mind, the last thing we're thinking about is somebody on us trying to hurt us. We're so overwhelmed with so much problems and bills and things not right. Our life is just so complicated and we still try to go on and fight through this struggle and try to save face as we slowly can't believe our eyes how this world really is. Anyway, I just want to share this with you. And rest in peace my sister that has been murdered. But like, this could have been a lot different. I had no idea. Dude was right there on me. Another thing. Watch out for these mentally ill men. Because mentally ill don't really show mentally ill. But he's just one of many, if not thousands, not millions, or billions. But he was following me. And I had no idea. It is now almost 8 o'clock in the morning. 
please be safe out there. Let y'all love you. Comment below. Let me feel about this video. And thank you for watching. Catch the rain.